Okay friends, so this is another day. As you can see, I'm matching with my 190E today. And yesterday I actually did a lot of work to this car. And unfortunately my camera was dead and I was, I forgot to charge it, yep. So I'll show you really quick. I actually took a lot of pictures of what I did, but I was actually mainly focusing on my trunk. I, I had all the liners out of my trunk yesterday, uh, literally, okay. Um, don't pay attention to the water dripping because it's uh, I just actually washed this car um, so some of the liners are still here okay this liner I'll actually take it out I'll show you really quick but mainly what I was focusing on is I had to take everything out because I wanted to check for rust repair it if there's any uh, clean everything up and then actually preserve all that stuff so I, I literally I focused yesterday on all that and i actually pretty much complete completed it except that today i have to uh, finish putting back some of the liners okay um but let me show you what i'm working with i mean it's, it's pretty crazy you might you guys might actually think that i'm crazy but uh all right friends so <laughs> i'll show you really quick all right i'm gonna take some of these liners out all right uh, I already reinstalled this liner and as you guys can see everything is nice and clean because I had this whole thing out I was cleaning all the liners from the inside uh, and then I was cleaning the pockets right there I was I also found a couple of just like small small tiny rust spots and a lot of actually a lot of bare metal especially from this where the spare tire is area around the edges so i cleaned that all up nicely primered it painted it and then at the end as you can see i have this thing whole coated in the grease so what do you think is going to happen this thing will never rust basically okay um so it's pretty amazing guys and uh, everything looks really nice here right now um and also i removed this liner okay because you see these guys right here i was actually cleaning them all right so there's one of them um i had to clean this up uh these are actually removal they're plastic vents pretty much so i took those off i cleaned them up nicely and i coated all this area with grease um some of you guys might know that 123s and 126s do like to rust out right here um and also 190e which is this one is not an exception so yeah that's why i had everything out and i cleaned everything nicely and we're gonna basically i preserved this whole trunk of this car so i did a big job yesterday and i'm really happy about that uh so right now i'm gonna finish putting everything back and that's it guys um i'll actually show you the spare tire area as well in a second all right guys so this is our trunk area okay um and literally, like I said, I had all the liners out. I was cleaning them, uh, making sure they're good. And as you can see, this plastic liner is still out because I wanted to show you what I did. Is first I cleaned all the junk off of there, uh, and then I touched up a few spots with uh, paint uh, because I saw some like bare metal, and then there was like a few like really micro rusty like areas and stuff, like literally tiny tiny pinholes like pinhole like size <laughs> uh, that I actually what I did is I sanded those and I you know coated them with paint protected them and at the end as you can see I used the grease and uh, I preserved this whole trunk area so this trunk will never ever rust it's gonna be all protected nicely it's gonna be really good forever um, and then I have this um, this is not the way this spare tire is supposed to sit I will fix that in a little while um, because some parts are missing from this thing so I just want to show you okay same thing was done to this part okay all this area right there and uh, I still have the jack what I'm doing with the jack is I'm actually restoring it and I'm lubricating the jack so it's temporarily it's out of the car and this line as you can see it's really beautiful it's nice because I had it all out and I cleaned it all from the inside outside and everything and same thing was done to that side behind the um, liner also a few tips just be careful when you're removing these liners uh, they like to crack so just be really careful just go slow all right 
um, and yeah and then one more thing is uh, a lot of these old school benzes they like to rust in this area so make sure you check on yours and there's any rust clean it all up fix it and that's what I did here it wasn't actually much rust at all uh, so what I did is just preserved it with grease um, and then I had these vents out these are actually vents uh, these plastic ones they I had them out and I was cleaning them as well so they look really good right now um, and yeah I'm about to put everything back together and I'll show you the final process all right friends before I put the mat back on this is how everything looks All right, friends, so some of you are probably saying, oh, why would you put the wheel bearing grease everywhere? It's gonna smell bad. It actually doesn't really smell much uh, because like I, I didn't put like so much, but I, I did still put a lot of grease in there, but I mean, it doesn't smell bad. I mean, it's it smells okay. I mean, it just doesn't uh, like, and I don't like really feel it inside, uh, uh, you know, the cabin itself. So inside the, the car, and when I open the trunk, I mean, I usually just don't don't feel it, you know, because Mercedes has these like plastics and they all have their specific smell. So I think the smell of the plastics is just like a lot stronger than that wheel bearing grease. I mean, so I mean, honestly, um, yeah, I just really recommend doing it to all your other cars and classic cars. Doesn't matter whether it's a BMW, Mercedes, Volvo. Uh, it's a really good idea to pull all the trunk liners and everything and inspect every, all the areas and uh, treat it, clean it, paint it if needed and preserve it just like I did in this video. So I really hope this video helps you out. If it did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, a lot of videos coming up on my channel every week. So thank you for everything. Uh, and don't forget to follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff, links down below. And yeah, if you really like me, if you like my channel, like what I do, consider becoming my patron uh, that would really help a lot I'm um, trying so hard to make all these videos for you guys and you know I'm trying to make videos entertaining as well you know and I know in the future I'm gonna have a lot of other videos as well not only just repairs but it's gonna be driving around doing other crazy stuff whatever uh, I mean I have some ideas coming up but uh, yeah it's not just gonna be like here in this 
standing here, staying in this lot, and just working on these cars all the time. So, yeah, I try to make a variety of videos. So, let me know what you guys think about that. And like I said, thank you for all your support. I'll see you in the next one.